like joy. collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. I'll see what I can do. <gasps> yes. <gasps> yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor... Dumb animal. Oh. All right, girl. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Yep. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Well, I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me... is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now just a little further Watch out. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. 
You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Coming in. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> you, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Come on, girl. as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was 
You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. You were hard, girl. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drum. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullers. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? <laughs> Can't find my friend. You know where we went? Wrong fella to ask. Hey, Lenny! Lenny? Doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. <coughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why ain't you never marry? Don't no have me. That's the thing, you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Now! Yeah. Slippery little right. shit, ain't you? Oh, come on! Get, get, yeah. get down from there! Lenny, yeah. where are you at? Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy! Shut up, mister! Yeah! Shut your mouth, mister! 
You got the wrong fella. Lenny, stop slumping off on me! Just go home, will you? Uh. I already got too many lawmen on my Been looking all over for you, Lenny. Lenny? Maybe you should switch to water, my friend. Lenny! What? I ain't Lenny. Lenny! You bastard! Fool. I said stop! You'll never take me alive! Arthur! Ah. You alive? Arthur! You, uh, you alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. <sighs> yeah. You pair degenerates. <sighs> There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. So, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. 
<laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least you took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Hey there, partner. Morning to you. Be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Adrisco saying so. Understand me? No need for threats. I ain't quarrels. Keep going! You really shouldn't rile me. You'll be meeting the right. Welcome back. more food okay. soon, Mr. Morgan. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Feel free to go and catch it yourself. Nah, I had bad luck with deer, sir. But if you set me out to sea, I'll catch you a feast. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? 
You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's... Bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Well, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. What on earth are you wearing? Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. Oh, yeah. That'll keep me going all right. Mm -hmm. Hey there, mister. Well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. <laughs> Looks like a good one. Knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, Speak me, English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'll Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah. the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh, yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Uh -huh. Where is it? Oh, oh, no. 
No, nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Nie, nie! Przestań! No, 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 no. Please, no. No have money, but, but I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. It's very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Better be something somewhere. Nie rób tego! I need! I must need! Proszę! Okay, that should about cover things. To zabrałeś już prymitywie, idź precz! Ale jestem zrujnowany. Zrujnowany. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet.
It's me. Hope you gone. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. I'm sorry. Uh. Well, I'm keeping the faith. <laughs> How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. What the hell are you wearing? 